Hi, does life ever get boring, dull, mundane? Sometimes the daily routine can really cause some boredom in our lives, or maybe we've had some stress that we've been under. So these things can definitely be challenging, no doubt about it. So I want you to stay till the end of the video so you can download my free guide on managing emotions. I am Linda Green, and I want to explore a few tips that might be beneficial and helpful in gaining that um, that um, positive outlook a little bit more and bring back some of that zest and passion in our lives that maybe we're struggling with right now. So let's explore these few tips. So number one, practice gratitude. Take some time and appreciate the positive aspects of your life. A lot of people will use a gratitude journal. So write down some of the things that you're thankful for. Try to find at least one thing every day that you can write down to be thankful for. It doesn't matter if it's little, small, uh, insignificant, or whatever. Just focus on something good. And this can really help shift your mindset for the better. Number two, engage in meaningful activities. Maybe you have a hobby that you would like to develop, like painting, scrapbooking. Maybe you have musical abilities and talents that you would like to develop. Or maybe some photography skills. You might want to learn how to cook a certain type of food, like maybe some Asian cuisine. That would that might be really fun. Maybe you could do some volunteer work. I have a really good friend who's been reading to an elderly lady. This has really been serving the elderly lady and really has a great benefit for both of them. Number three, connect with positive people can really be helpful too. I know that can be super annoying at first, but it can help shift our mindset and our attitude. Number four, when possible, explore. Travel, explore, go on a little day excursion, find some things that are not too far away. I live close to Zions National Park and I love being out there in the beautiful nature and maybe hiking around and, or taking a road in an unknown area and finding some beautiful things around us. So just explore those kind of fun things. Maybe you wanna just explore a new restaurant. Number five, Practice optimism. I know this can be tricky, but train yourself to focus on the, on the positive aspects and believe in the potential outcomes that you might be able to experience. Number six, of course we wanna have balanced, um, balanced life with health, food, nutrition, exercise, sleep, those great things. Number seven, personal growth. Work on improving yourself and developing new skills. Personal growth can help lead us to accomplishments and feeling better about the things that we can do. So let's explore a couple of essential oils that are really good for this. So first, let's talk about lime essential oil. Lime is the oil of zest for life, and it is a citrus oil. Ooh, this citrusy aroma can really help up be uplifting and invigorating, and it can help us feel energized, revitalized, and it can help us with positivity, which is so nice. And it can help us feel more courageous, more determined, and more grateful. Lime cleanses the heart and helps us to clear out discouraging thoughts and actions. It encourages balance between the heart and the mind. One of the best ways to use this is to diffuse it. You can maybe have a little diffuser. This is one of my favorite. Or you can just um, smell it straight from the bottle. You can also dilute it with some of the doTERRA's uh, fractionated coconut oil and then you can just put it on the bottom of your feet. And like I've mentioned in other videos, um, you wanna use citrus oils with caution and don't expose to direct sunlight because it can cause a skin reaction, kinda of like a sunburn and nobody wants to have that. So um, you can also add a couple of drops right to your drinking water. Like I usually put two drops in this stainless steel um, drinking glass, cup, mug, whatever you call it. So I like doing that. So the other essential oil that I want to talk about is passion. And I love the smell of it. And it is, it is the oil of, imagine that, finding your passion. It comes in a roller bottle or just a five mil. It helps us to break through limiting beliefs that we place on ourselves. And it helps us to find our own creativity and, and imagination to feel, fulfill our inner passion. This oil blend has cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, and jasmine. Passion helps us feel more inspired and more alive, more spontaneous and more playful. This oil can be diffused 
the five mil, you can diffuse that or smell it from the bottle or put it on the bottom of your feet. With this one, which I use the most, I put it on the back of my neck, the inside of my wrist, bottom of your feet. So this is how I use it. I just use it like that and just rub it in. You can use it behind your ears, like I said, on your wrist. So all oils are, are different and different people will react differently to different essential oils. So be, be patient, try things for a few days and see if you can feel a, a bit of a shift in how you are thinking and reacting to different things and feel if you're getting a little bit more excitement and joy and um, zest for life. So like I said, download my free guide on managing emotions and if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you get more videos in the future on managing emotions, health tips, and different things like that. So anyway, you have a fantastic day. Bye.